I'm sorry about Shinji and Reina. I didn't know anywhere else I could go. It's okay. I'll lay them to rest the best I can. I appreciate it. Thanks. Akami? Yeah, that's who Shinji mentioned. But there are thousands of girls named Akemi. I don't think it's going to get us anywhere. No. Wait a minute. What? Shinji Tanaka of the Nishiki family had a soft spot for ladies of the night. Did you know about that, Kazuma? Yeah. There's a place he always used to go to. A soap land called Shangri-La. If my memory serves me right there, number one girl is Akami. I see. However... This isn't your ordinary soap land. The entire building is full of soap lands, but it's hard to tell since they don't have any signs out. Plus, one visit's gonna cost you about a million yen. One million? Popular entertainers and models are working there. It's where the rich and powerful play. Uncle Kazuma? What's a soap land? Huh? Um... It's a... Uh... Well, a place where... no. A sauna? Don't look at me. Like a health spa? <laughs> Not exactly. Uh... Have you ever been there before? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, no. No, no way. Never. <laughs> I'm joking. I know what a soap land is. I've seen them around here. Huh? Ha 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 ha! <laughs> you had me going there for a second. Excuse me?
Why don't you tell me the truth? You were seen handing over a passport that day at the park. Listen, I'm telling you, I was just waiting for my boyfriend. Why don't you believe me? Don't think you could bullshit us! Come on. Just tell us where the counterfeiter is.
I know what your game is. Our passports haven't been selling as well as they used to. Do you really think we'll just allow you to undercut our prices? You've almost run our business into the ground. So how are you gonna make up for this? Killing you is not enough. We should cut you apart piece by piece. Is there any chance you're connected to the Snake Flower Triad? Huh? Who the fuck are you? I got some business that involves them too. Let me be clear. I don't have any business with you at all. If you get in the way, we'll gut you all the same. Wait a second. This guy. He looks familiar. Isn't that Kazuma? Really? Kazuma, huh? <laughs> you guys trying to make a little extra cash forging passports, huh? Shut the fuck up! You know, because of you, we've had to go through a lot of shit. Die, motherfucker!
Excuse me. So this is it. Shangri-La. Um, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, but you can't bring children in here. It's take your dog. It's a social studies field trip. This is unacceptable. The other customers might be disturbed. Don't worry. We won't disturb anyone. It's okay, right? Uh, as you wish, sir. Don't leave me behind. Welcome. I'm a Kenny. Kazuma. Shinji might have told you about me. Your... Kazuma? That's right. That means... Shinji is... I see. Last time I saw him, he told me that if anything happened to him... You might stop by to see me. He was always joking around, but that time he was serious. I see. Shinji-chan's dead. I thought it didn't feel right. I mean, out of the blue. He asked me to marry him. As soon as he was done taking care of business. I'm really sorry. Don't be. I'm the one who should apologize.
Fumasan. He was here, but a friend of Shinji's came by and took him away. Who was it? Terada-san from the Omi family. The Omi family? Was he really a friend of Shinji's? Yeah. Shinji trusted him. That's why I... Where are they now? In Shiba-ura. He said that he was taking him to a ship at the wharf. I see. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Shinji said... Other than the ten billion, Nishiki is also after Chairman Sada's last will and testament. Supposedly, it contains the appointment of the fourth boss. A will? That's what Nishiki wants. So you're telling me Nishiki is trying to get a hold of it and destroy it? That's what Shinji said. Oh! What the? Let's fuck this shit up! Get in my face! <laughs> <laughs> 
Kazuma-chan, I've been looking for you. What? Majima, you're still alive. Help! Please, help me! Oh, relax. Just calm down for a second. Uh. Stop it. Hmm. You look delicious. How about it? Why don't you be my bitch? Uh. Uh. Well? Huh? No. I, I have a boyfriend. I'm sorry. Majima, don't do it. Well then, you're an honest girl. That's rare. I like that in a woman. Now get out of here. It's not safe to be here. Move it! I never know what to expect from you. I like honest people, that's all. People shouldn't toy with others' emotions. That's the way I am. Is that so? We were rudely interrupted at the climax of our battle the other day. Why don't we pick up where we left off to see who's really on top? Kazuma-chan.
Kazuma. You're a real a hard ass. Ugh. So that's a Kimmy. Must be real tough for her. Date. I found out where they're holding Fuma Oyabun. Where? At Shibaura Wharf. Supposedly, a man named Torada from the Omi family stashed him there. Did you say the Omi family? What the hell do they want with Fuma? I don't know. But Shinji trusted him enough to look after Oyabun. So he must be trustworthy. I see. Kazuma, about the MBI. Jingu is making some big moves. I was just over at HQ. They were really hassling me about you. I think they're getting serious pressure from Jingu. Are you okay, Date? <laughs> it's ironic. The bastards at HQ, they could fire me. But as long as I'm around you, they won't touch me. Kazuma, you're going to Shiba Ura? Yeah. That man... I think that's the man who saved me at the batting cage. He talked to me about the pendant. Come on, Haruka. Okay. Good evening, Kazuma-san. I'm Terada, a lieutenant of the Omi family. What? Tell me. Why is the Omi family helping Fuma Oyabun? Just like you, Kazuma-san. I owe Fuma-san a lot. Fuma-san is waiting for you. Follow me. Kazuma. Oyabun. I'm glad you're all right. I apologize for putting you through all this trouble. The man you just met, Terada, he used to be an assassin. Just like me. I see. I asked him to spy on the Tojo clan for me. 
him being a lieutenant in the Omi family. Especially Nishki. Cosma, listen. I'm going to tell you about everything that's been concealed for the past ten years, okay? Yes. This girl's mother, Mizuki, doesn't exist. What? Yumi. Yumi is Mizuki. The woman you've been looking for, Mizuki, is in fact Yumi. What are you saying? Yumi has been pretending to be Mizuki for the last five years. That means Haruka's mother is... Yumi. She is definitely Yumi's daughter, no doubt about it. So Yumi isn't my aunt. She's really my mother? Oyabun, who's Yumi's partner? I mean, Haruka's father. Kyohei Jingu. Jingu? You mean from the MBI? This picture is from nine years ago. The baby Yumi is holding is Haruka. The man standing beside them is Jingu. You know that Yumi lost her memory due to shock caused by the shooting, don't you? Yes. After the shooting, Yumi was scared and confused. She just ran from the hospital. But she did remember one thing. She remembered where the Sunflower Orphanage was, where she was born and raised. Sunflower. After hearing the news, I rushed over there to get her. I tried to help her regain her memory. I showed her a bunch of pictures. What's wrong? Rain. Huh? Lightning. No! What is it? I don't know. I don't know, but... At that point, it hit me. I realized who really killed Dojima. And after that, I decided not to tell Nishiki about Yumi, and instead took her under my wing. But how did Yumi end up with Jingu? Jingu and Sera were pretty tight. Jingu used to do business with the Tojo clan. That's when Yumi and Jingu met. Jingu and the chairman? Jingu was trying to get involved in the political world. Sera was the man behind the scenes backing Jingu. Jingu met Yumi and fell for her. Since Yumi had no recollection of her past, it wasn't hard for Jingu to fill that spiritual void that she was feeling. I couldn't do anything about it. I thought that if she could live happily with Jingu, she could escape the world of organized crime. I thought maybe it was an opportunity to change her future. With that in mind, I felt that Yumi could be happy spending the rest of her life with Jingu. Then Yumi and Jingu had a child, Haruka. One day, Jingu received a marriage proposal from the Prime Minister's daughter. That's when Yumi decided to leave him, since they weren't officially married. She did it for Jingu. But that decision started the House of Cards toppling. Jingu had acquired power through marriage and not of his own accord. So in order to maintain that status, he became ruthless, all the while justifying it to himself. After their breakup, I was looking after Yumi and Haruka. Then one day, Sera received an urgent call from Jingu. Sera, you gotta help me out. I'm in deep shit. What's the problem? Just get over here. I'll send some men. Where are you? No, I need you to come alone. 
What the hell happened? There's a body that needs to be taken care of. Jingu insisted it was just an accident. The body was of a freelance reporter who was trying to blackmail Jingu. He was going to write a story exposing the truth about Yumi and Haruka. Sarah gathered notes and pictures from the reporter's home and burned them. But for Jingu, it wasn't over yet. Now, is everything settled? Well, not exactly. There's one more thing that needs to be taken care of. What? To prevent this from happening again, there are two others that also need to be dealt with. What? You mean... Seda, this is to protect our future. We must. Jingu. What do you think you're doing? Chairman! Fumasan, I made a promise to Jingu. Is your word so important that you would kill a girl and her baby to keep it? Nothing can be that important. Lucky for Yumi, or maybe unlucky, she regained her memory at that very instant. Yumi and Haruka. Jingu. That heartless son of a bitch. I persuaded Sera to put Yumi and Haruka into hiding where Jingu would never find them. So that's how Mizuki and Ares came to be? Yes. Sera and I arranged to have Haruka live at Sunflower, and to change Yumi's name to Mizuki. We hired a counterfeiter to forge all the necessary documents. We also altered the way she looked, face, hair. But, Oyobun, why did Yumi steal ten billion from the Tojo clan? That wasn't the Tojo clan's money. It was Jingu's. Fumasan, the Shimano family is outside. It's not safe here. Damn Shimano! That crazy bastard! There he is, Kazuma! Go 
be walking around this place like you own the shit. <laughs> Ship to hell. Kazuma-san. Are you okay, Uncle Kazuma? Yeah, I'm fine. Too close for comfort, though. <laughs> what fun! We meet again. Kazuma and Fuma. You sneaky fuckers. Shimano! Tirada, you pretended to betray Nishiki and take sides with me. But I saw right through your deception. I've been watching you the whole time. And? You and Nishiki. You left yourselves open. I'll take the girl, if it's all right with you. It's really a shame that you all have to die. Shimano. What? It's you that left yourself open. Fuck you. Hey! What's this shit? Oyabu, Kashu again. It's almost Christmas. So we brought some presents. Kazuma, looks like you've been having one hell of a time. Yeah, so do you. Huh. Looks like the Fuma family grew a set of balls. All right then, let the massacre begin. Yeah! 
like to fight. So you like to fight. So you like to fight. You're through, Shimano. Uh. Kazuma, Oyabun, Haruka, she's safe. Uncle Fuma, Oyabun, about the ten billion. Listen, Tanada-san, call an ambulance. Okay, Kazuma, it was Yumi, Sarah, and I. Uh, we took the money. What? Jingu's ten billion. He was using the Tojo clan to launder dirty money. Money laundering. That's right. In order to bring him down, we needed the ten billion. And Yumi. She volunteered to help us out. Yumi did? Hurry up and get to Ares. Kazuma, Yumi is in danger. Ares? Yumi's at Ares? Mm, yes. Also... Is that... This is... Sarah's will. <sighs> it's all over. Yes. Thank you. Are you sure you're okay with this? To get rid of Jingu, we have to steal the 10 billion yen he stashed and bring him down. That's true. Still, you're going to be in danger too. Why don't you go into hiding for a while? Hey. It's obvious that Shimano and Nishiki are going to try to take over the clan. But I am the third chairman of the Tojo clan. I'm not about to run and hide. Maza. Just in case something happens, I want you to keep this will for me. The future of the Tojo clan is in your hands. Yes, sir. Cosma, I have something I have to apologize to you for. Please forgive me, Cosma. I'm the one who killed your parents. It was me. The Sunflower Orphanage is a place where I send all the kids that I made into orphans. It doesn't matter. That's in the past. Oyabun, to me, you were my... You were my real father! <laughs> <laughs> 